Veterans and supporters did their best to ignore a lone protester at the Veterans Day ceremony on College Green this morning. He had the right to do it, period. The veterans remained calm and composed as the man stood in front of the podium with a sign that read VFW, liars, bigots. But Carol Sanborn, an auxiliary member of VFW and wife of a veteran, tried to remove the sign from the protesters' hands during the ceremony, but was stopped by police, who told her the man had the right to do it. You know, I think everybody has a right to voice their opinion and stuff, but what this guy does is, like, he should have been on the side. I mean, this wasn't the day for it. But the dissent of one man didn't stop the ceremony and didn't break the spirits of the veterans and their many supporters on this special day. Mayor Paul Weil spoke, various musicians and marching bands played. School children of all ages, along with their families, withstood the chilly morning to honor the veterans. Joe Mulligan has served in numerous tours, including Germany during the Cold War and in Iraq during Desert Storm. It's come together to recognize that this is Veterans Day. 30 years of in and out of the Army uh, uh, serving the country, uh, having uh, seen uh, different countries that don't have the freedom of speech, movement, thought, uh, and uh, it, it's great to live here. After taps was played and flowers were laid on the Civil War Memorial, the veterans were greeted with hugs, smiles, and gratitude for their years of service. How best to thank a veteran? Just say thanks.